Welcome back to this side of 40. This is your girl Lou and again like promised a full week of the same palette of tutorials So let's get into it. So this is the um, iconic London palette and this one is in day slay Looks like that um Yesterday I did a look kind of um, copying off somebody else today. I wanted to kind of go into a different look so I'm gonna start off right here with the ultimate tan and I already prepped and primed my lids so you guys today was my second day being at home without working I do go back to work on Thursday so that is going to be different um my mom bring up a valid point she was like um they want us to be three to six feet apart you can't do nothing to nobody to nobody within three to six feet and I was like I know mom so mom if you're watching this I understand your worries her and my mother-in-law want me to be very careful going to work um however like it's not been so so bad today um I'm one of those people who likes getting out of the house. I can admit to that. Like, being home all day is not my cup of tea. I used to be at, at home with my kids' mom when my kids were way small. But now they're all grown, so it's kind of pointless. This right here is all my brushes that are clean. <coughs> Excuse me. Let me have a little sip. And yeah. we're sipping and painting today. I'm allergic to citrus, just in case anybody knows. Um, and I can't drink soda and all kinds of stuff. So I basically sip on juicers or something. Okay. Then I'm going to mix um, Bellini and Mulatto, Murato Monday. Because they're both... One's an orangey shade, one's a burgundy a wine shade. Yeah, see, it did what I thought I was going to do. Gave me a shade that I can work with. Now, this brush is from Shop Miss A, and it's a larger brush. I like the larger brushes when I do my eye looks. And if you're wondering which two shades I'm talking about, I'm talking about this one here and this one here. I like mixing those two together. Um, Nona was the one who first started using this palette that I had seen. And she was uh, saying that it was a little powdery. Nona, I'm with you. The color payoff, to me, like, it's okay. Um, I guess this is my thing. And somebody correct me if I'm wrong. But I expect way more out of high-end eyeshadow palettes than I do from CVS or Walgreens, Milani. You know, like, I expect more out of companies that are higher up than them. So when, and I'm going back in with Ultimate Tan and just blending that out. Um... I expect more from them so when they don't perform as good as my Milani or my LA colors then I'll be like mm, no so now from there I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna go with a denser brush and I'm just gonna go in right in with deep soul that's the brown I used yesterday and I'm just gonna Build deep soul right here in the crease, and I just lightly tapped on it. Deep soul for me, to me personally, um, it kind of it it's not a bad shade. Um, deep soul will be really good if I accompany it with a black. Now they don't have a black in this palette, and my whole purpose of me doing this one palette one week thing is to just show you if you didn't have any other palettes you know how you could build a look because 
I know most girls only have one eyeshadow palette. I know a couple girls who only buy one eyeshadow palette, and then when that eyeshadow palette is gone, um, or the shades that they feel like they could wear are gone, then they uh, get a new one. They don't just get a whole bunch of them. How's your day going, everybody? Like, mine's just going good. Only thing I did today is I got up, I cooked breakfast for everybody. Um, I um, spent time with Ricky. Ricky, um, he's been interested in TikTok here lately. I don't even have the app on my phone. And he was just showing me about it. And... It's quite interesting. It seems very fun. They have all kinds of little dance things and songs and people sharing, you know, just little videos and stuff. And it's kind of encouraging. And I think we were watching, I want to say the comedian Michael Blackson, he was talking about how his uh, days in quarantine were going. He's so silly. Um, so that was nice. And then there's a guy and his brother and his brother's... Um, just was going to prom and he was he took his brother with him to prom his brother special needs he's got um downs and um I thought it was so sweet just to see how much stuff they do together that was very sweet just all of those things like the stuff I've never really had time to pay attention to um it, it's uh sweet and refreshing now I'm gonna cut my crease and because I like cut crease so let's see and this is still the concealer for my shiny cosmetics palette basically I took three shades and mixed them together and put them in this palette just because this makes it easier for me to grab instead of having to grab a big palette plus that one doesn't have a mirror in it me and Ricky started watching a movie together but um I'm trying to get better at like if I say I'm gonna do something doing it as far as my YouTube channel um, I am gonna do the hundred subscriber giveaway um, I'm just okay so this is my issue with that a lot of people are scared of touching things and stuff right now so I want to do my giveaway um I come up with some rules last night now I'm gonna go into VIP vibes and close closing party so VIP vibes is right here and closing prime right is right here they both have purplish ones uh like a uh uh a tannish kind of shimmer undertone and the other one's got a purpley undertone so I'm hoping that they'll look good I feel like now that I'm starting to put this on this shimmer kind of looks like yesterday's shimmer iconic icon and this kind of looks similar once it's going on the eye And so that's my only issue. I said I was going to wait 30 days after I um, got 100 subscribers. And the reason why that is is because I noticed, like, who is doing giveaways? Her name is Valerie. She has a channel. and She's always hauling all this really nice stuff as well as she has really great videos and she puts them up. And she's very... um very very nice very very sweet I haven't met anybody or talked to anybody on here yet that was rude or unkind or not encouraging I know Jessica said that um, she thought this was cool how I was doing my um, drop 10 for summer and this is actually why I'm doing a palette a week because I figure if I'm doing a whole palette for 10 weeks one, I, I'm doing a couple of other project pants, but this is just making it so that the ones I've never touched, I'm going to reach and pull for them. I'm playing with them, and I'm seeing them 
in the new light. Okay, you guys, I'm going to come back once I got the other eye all the way completed and put on a little foundation. And I'll see y'all in a second. Okay, so this is the eye look with lashes. Um, Like I said, I'm going to reserve my comments on this palette until the end of the week. Sunday is going to be the day I call the end of the week. And on Sunday, I will tell you guys exactly how I feel about this palette but as of right now it's okay um I did have to go in with a black eyeshadow just to darken out the outer V a little bit and I didn't use it very heavy it was I just mixed it with um the brown from this palette the only thing I could first say like if I had purchased this with my money is I'd be on the fence about returning it currently. Um, just because I feel like, and I'm gonna get close enough so you guys can see. These shimmers all look like the same color once you put them on the lid. So that would be the only issue I'm having. Now, if my skin tone was different, maybe I'd feel differently about it and that's the only thing that I could say. Tomorrow I am gonna try this with a a white eyeshadow base to see if that changes how it looks on me. Um, let's pop a lip on with it. I'm gonna go in with my Perfusions um, lippy because this is my one and done. Now pigmentation, it's okay. Um, I'm not gonna say it's bad. It just does. It's buildable, but not build like you'd have to keep going in with this this eye, these eyeshadows um and I didn't even count how many mattes were in here and that might be my other issue is okay eight of these shades are matte the rest are all shimmers and for us to have 20 shadows yeah not even 20 shadows to have 16 shadows or 20 shadows let's just say it that way um to only have eight mattes and out of the mattes this yeah out of the mattes that are in here none of them are deep skin girl friendly as of I can see right now like even the brown and I'm getting close so you guys can see it I had to deepen it up and I just barely tapped a black just to kind of give it a little deeper and it's called deep soul um if my skin tone was darker maybe it would work the um belling um that one I thought would be darker because it has like the reddish orange, like a terracotta e or a burnt orange um, or a clay kind of looking color. And I thought I would be able to, but no. Um, so this is what I got for day two. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the link below. I'll see you guys next time on this side of 40.